So today, in making our Gothic fans, I have to show you this paper right here that I had printed out. This is a damask pattern that I found on Pixabay. It is a website that's got 1.8 million images on there. It's all copyright free. You can alter, you can change, you can do whatever you want with their pictures on their site. And I just so happened to found this very Gothic damask. Uh, love this piece here. So what happens is I had gotten some of this metallic paper. Now both these are the same exact size, they're standard printer size, and this is what it came out like. Check this out. Beautiful. So I've got the metallic finish in the back, very reflective, and the damask on top of it. I'm going to show you how I made it. After I had gotten the image off of Pixabay, I had uploaded the image to my computer, and I'm using a program called EarFan View 64. It's very easy to download and you can use it to make any images you want. Next important thing is putting our special paper into our printer. Now what happens is I had opened the printer to show you that I have a toner cartridge in here. So it works on heat. You cannot use the uh, wet inkjet material on this. It won't work on this type of paper. So now we're going to close this guy up here. The paper is going to come out very, very hot when it comes out of the printer. Beautiful. Bam. There it is. That paper is hot right now. So we're going to add this to the pile and let that cool down. Today we're in the prop shop. So we got our beautiful paper that we had designed. And I'm going to show you what I've been working on right here. So the first one that I had designed was this one. This was just using our damask and white paper folded. And this is what it looks like as a double. These are two doubles. I'm gonna, I'll demonstrate doubles and singles here. And these fan designs are very easy to make. And you can see I removed the white over here. And then I had created one of the fans using the silver edge that we had made. This was the original intention. As you can see, it is a single and it is spread very, very, very long. So this is what we want to do for if we want to have like an element to put on a Christmas tree or something else. So you can have more of a Victorian uh, design or if you wanted to put this on a special uh, type of arrangement or something. But I would like to have these this time and then we're going to add a special tassel and stuff to that. So let me show you how I make these. The folding process couldn't be easier. All you need to do is you get your paper, whatever one you like here, I'm going to use this, this sheet over here, and you want to turn it over and you're going to go about a quarter of an inch, about two centimeters, and fold. Now you may experience something, it's called um, dust finger. Uh, if you look very carefully, I have it right there on my finger. It's because of the laser printer. But very, very easy, you're just gonna go back and forth very, very easily. Now this is how you create a double fan. I'll show you how you create a single one afterwards. It's very easy, but once you get this finished, and I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. There, I just sped that up. Okay, now once you get all that pressed down, you get a little accordion. <laughs> if you were to fold this in half, and you've got to be very careful with this because you don't want the gap in the center, and you have to make sure that the two pieces at the top align because that's where the glue is going to go. It's very important that these two pieces are the same height. Okay, so. You're folding very, very carefully here in half. Now you may get some bends and stuff like that, but once you open it up, it's going to be just fine. Now this is the double fans. We're going to glue this together. Okay, so today I've got my glue stick, and I'm going to just apply a coat of glue on both sides. Let that tack up for a second here. Align them. Put them down. Put my paper clip on there. And I'm going to let that set. 
way with this one, once that glue dries, you're going to have the double fan. Today we want to work on a single one, so what we need to do is take one of our sheets and we're going to cut it in half. I highly recommend just folding the paper like this. Now you're going to have two fans. And the first thing we want to do is we want to cut that very carefully. I'm putting down an old cutting board. I'm using a ruler. And we're just going to cut this right on our fold. Now, once you get your paper in half, get this one a little bit better here, we're going to start the folding process again. Let's see what this looks like once it's finished. Okay, once you get it, your accordion fan unfolded, see so we're going to do a long a long spread over here like this and that creates these type of ornamental fans. Now if you wanted to, very careful, you could glue all these pieces and hold them together with a paper clip or you can do it the lickety split way which is just to use a stapler like that. Boom. Spread that out. If you wanted to keep this really spread, then the paper will stay this way. If you get a piece of foam and stick some pins in here, you can actually hold it just like this. You could also spray it with a lacquer finish if you wanted it more glossier. But right now, just simply stretching it a little bit is all we need to do. So that is a single, and again, this is what a double fan looks like. We're going to be working with the, the single ornaments for our tree. I had wanted to put some of these flowered pieces on our fans down here at the lower base and I realized they were that color of pink that no goth would really wear so basically today we're going to goth them up. I have my writer's ink right here, my already pre-made flowers, and a nice drying tray, and my handy dandy pair of stainless steel long nosed tweezers. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, I'm taking them out here. What would Morticia Adams do? All right, now let's open this bad boy up. Every Victorian goth loves ink, and I'm no exception. We're going to take and plunge that bad boy right in there and soak it. Oh yes. Boom. And put that out to dry. Let's see why I used a a little tray here. So we're going to do this. Be very, very careful, very slow. I've done this many times. So we're going to now dye all of our pinks to black. And also, if you haven't seen, I do have a tutorial on my site. It's called Making Doves into Ravens. Works very similarly. So let me do these all up now and see what they look like. And today we're going to be putting on our roses over here. So I have two of them that still have a nice kind of a red color to them. we got a heavy glop of glue. Sticking it right on there. Let me do that to all five of them. And our last piece today, we're going to be using some of this midnight black. Oh man, this is so nice. This vampire black um, satin ribbon. And we'll be using our handy dandy glue gun to create the loops to hold our fans in place.
Once your Victorian Gothic fans are done, they should look like this. A very, very great ornament to put on any tree or a gift to give to any of your very Gothic friends. Gothfully yours, Professor M. Thank you.